So uh, now we get into business, and uh, we have a lot of information coming your way. There is amazing uh, identity with Ireland. It is a very, very strong culture. So you have people coming back after six, seven, eight generations away, and they sometimes come in with the freckles and the red hair, and they're as Irish as the day that their people left. And it is quite incredible. And we know that it's a unique thing about our Ireland. I'm Monica from the East Galway Family History Society, and I'm just welcoming everyone here to the Woodford Heritage Centre. Today we're going to go through uh, family history online uh, to launch it, and we're also going to show what records we have for the East Galway area. We have a local uh, family, Michael Walsh, and um, for the last few weeks, myself and Michael have been going through his family history and the records available. And Family history for the South East Galway area, and again, this will be going online live today. I know Irish research is so difficult, there's just not a lot of records, particularly when you get back into the 1830s, 1820s. Um, I cannot find the birth record of my great grandfather, which he was born at the height of the famine in 1847 48. Um, so I really wasn't that optimistic about finding anything, so I'm, I'm happy with anything at all that I can find here whether it's a relative, a cousin, anybody, just some headstone with the name on it would be a real find as far as I'm concerned. We've seen so many beautiful churches in Ireland, very old, more recent ones, and uh, this one to think that going back to a great-grandparent generation that they would have been in here, been attending Mass, part of the community, it's a very, very special feeling um, as I look around because um, they, that generation brought Catholicism with them out to New Zealand and the family, we were all brought up with uh, Catholic traditions and, and to come right back here and see where it all came from, uh, it's very moving. This is a very spiritual place.